cut in here. There we go. Whoops. <laughs> Today we are riding Whistler. It's running really nice and fast. A-line is open, so we're gonna hit that. I even signed up for my first Fat Wednesday race today. I can't wait to hit all the big jump lines with my patrol, so let's hit it up. And the rain just started, like just as I got to the top, but you know what, I think today is gonna be pretty good. It's probably not gonna rain for too long. I got my enduro bike out here today. Super excited to try this out. In fact, I even put on the uh, RockShox Super Deluxe Coil. This is the coil shock that came with the frame when I bought it two years ago, before I had the Marzocchi Bomber CR coil. And that one desperately needs a rebuild. So for now, I thought, you know what, I wanna try this out, and this might even be better than the Marzocchi's. This fork actually really needs a rebuild. It's never gotten rebuilt since I first built it up, so it's gonna be super awesome. We're gonna meet up with some other friends, and we're gonna have an amazing time. Otherwise, it uh, feels great to be on the enduro bike out here. I need to get some gloves on. Now that my grips are wet, that does not feel good. Oops. <laughs> oh man. Woo. Oh yeah, I can tell the sun's coming out. Let's get some gloves. It's always exciting to see the progress of the slope style course being put together. And soon after that, they'll build a biker cross course as they always do, and maybe even a dual slalom like last year. Got some gloves. I also put pants on. It's just a lot more comfortable right now and uh, the rain has stopped. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna do Angry Pirate into Crab Apple Turns into Del Boca Vista. The reason for that is I signed up for the Fat Wednesday race today and that is the racetrack. It also happens to be a great warm-up run as well. Oof. <laughs> I think this will be pretty fun to race on and it's perfect for the enduro bike. Okay, well the race is supposed to go down Crab Apple Turns, which is right beside Crab Apple Hits. I guess it's closed right now or something. But it's just a green trail. I don't think there's much to practice on with that thing. Then it goes into Del Boca Vista. This should be a pretty fun race. I'm looking forward to it. I've never done a Fat Wednesday race before. Oh, I gotta get used to these conditions. They're a little wet. And this bike. See, I have like all these different bikes and the problem with that is I never get like really, really good at any one bike because I'm just switching them up all the time. So that is the downside to riding too many different bikes. But yeah, I really want to be really good at this bike. And that will be the end of the race, I guess. Ah, uh, yes, that'll be the finish line. A-line. Oh man, I haven't ridden A-line at all this year. That is gonna be sick. Okay, should be good to go? All right, let's do it. A-line. <laughs> Whoa, this is running fast. These berms are beautiful. That's perfect. Whoa, <laughs> wow. 
I gotta get used to these jumps again. Whoa. Thanks for that. Okay. Yeah, right on. Okay, what do you say we do more A-line? Look at all this get up. Oh man, you haven't, you're not dirty at all. <laughs> no, and your, oh, your bike is looking good. Yeah, thanks. Just put new cranks Sick. on. You like break your other cranks and stuff? Yeah, I twisted them. Oh yeah. Like it was really bad. Like when I looked at it from the top, my pedal was like facing this way. Oh wow. Yeah, putting the new cranks on. It's still like pedals weird. Yeah, I was just uh, wanting to do like a Ninja Cougar fade to black or something. Want to do that? Yeah, I just want to warm up. All right. Oh, it's windy. What's with the wind? Woo! I'm just gonna do Ninja Cougar. Whoa. Okay. These are peanut butter berms. Someone's calling me. Sorry, I'm busy riding. <laughs> Whoa! On the fork out. Uh, what do you want to do? You want to do some attack? Let's do A-line. Okay, doing some more A-line. Let's, uh, let's try these jumps. Whoa, <laughs> that's hilarious. I really need to strengthen my hands. That was feeling good. Yeah. Nice <laughs> techno hand there. That was sick. I'm just, uh, my hands are not strong enough. Like, oh, you don't have the endurance. The I don't have enough. it yet. Like, I definitely it develop it, but like, it just takes a bit of time. Yeah, I just don't have the same like control or looseness kind of thing. I've never done a Fat Wednesday race. Yeah. So that'll be new. I mean, I've just done like a few races here and there, like a couple enduro races. I'm doing like a couple enduro races this year and uh, doing the EWS 80. It was Max who suggested to me the day before that I should enter today's Fat Wednesday race. And I thought that sounds actually like a great idea. They're pretty short and simple races, maybe about three minutes long. I think that's gonna be more up my alley compared to the pedally enduro races. So we'll see how this one goes. <laughs> All 
Right on. Oh man. That's good fun. All right, let's uh, do some more practice runs. So Max here is gonna race it as well. So it'll be pretty sick. See how we do. <laughs> and this stuff is tight. And my bike is quite fast rolling. Crab apple turns. I figure this is the part of the race where you can really gain a lot of ground if you've got the endurance and 29 inch wheels. Those are things that I'm lacking today, but I'm definitely gonna do my best. So Max is kind of taking this race seriously. He actually wants to get on the podium. For me, I'm just having fun. <laughs> See now my arms and legs are getting tired. I got lucky because last time they did this race, finish line was up here. Oh yeah. It was right here. Oh wow. <laughs> oh. Cut in here. There we go. Whoops. <laughs> sure we could do something different. Yeah, why not? Okay, that's a line I didn't see before. Oh, oh my goodness. <laughs> Max was busy riding the racetrack all day today as practice, while I couldn't be bothered to ride it that much more, so I just wanted to get out and ride other trails. Let's do a good fun one. Beeline into Funshine Rolly Drops. So Funshine Rolly Drops has some uh, new work done on it. And I've never ridden it yet. Yeah, I can really tell this enduro bike rolls faster. It's kind of nice. <laughs> the 27.5 wheels. The I think the tires are faster rolling tires, especially the rear one. I almost don't know what to do with all the speed. Shit. <laughs> okay. All right. <laughs> My rear tire is kind of like a semi-slick tire. It's the Michelin Wild Enduro rear. It's faster rolling, which means less grip. But I do prefer having more grip in the rear though, so I think I'm gonna change the tires pretty soon. Oh yeah, this is the new stuff. What do we got here? Cool. Beautiful berms. Wow, thanks. You know what we could do? Dwayne Johnson. That's gonna be sick on this bike. Oh, that's so good. That's so, oh, that's sick. Oh. <laughs> Man, that felt good. So the fun thing about Afternoon Delight here is it's not actually... Whoa! That techie, but... That was weird. Something is going on. How about we go into Double Black Afternoon Delight? Yo, I felt like the fork was like, like it kind of felt like a bottom out, but, or like I smacked against the thing. I don't know. Yeah, there's a couple times the fork just felt really harsh. I know it needs a rebuild, that's for sure.
Okay. My rear tire likes to drift. <laughs> there we go. That was good. Oh, my hands. Oh, my fingers. So I decided to do at least one more practice run before the actual race. I mean, I do want to do a good job on it, so. So at this point, we're able to get our race plates now. So I just wanted to fit in one more practice run as well as get more accustomed to A-line. And then I'm going to get my plate and then let's try out my first ever Fat Wednesday race. Ugh. So these races basically run on a first come first serve basis. So we just get in line, wait for it to start, and we typically have about 30 second intervals between riders. Is it possible for me to get some extra time? Yeah. Thank you. Oh really? They crashed? Oh shoot, okay. Okay, okay. It was a little bit awkward because I ended up having about two full minutes to wait. So my nerves were getting a bit antsy. You really don't want to have to try and pass someone on this race particularly with these skinny trails. Oh, wow, that was sketch. That could have been bad. <laughs> oh my goodness. I was just about keeping my endurance. My legs are getting tired. Ah! Oh man, my legs. We're almost done. Well, I was pretty happy with my run, and in the Master Male 30 to 39 category, I got 21st place out of 50 riders. So I'm in the top 50%, and I'm pretty happy with that considering I'm racing against pretty much all Whistler locals, and they are so fast on these trails. Max Grayston beat me by seven seconds, earning him 14th place. So he didn't get the podium like he was hoping, but there's lots more Fat Wednesday races this season, and I might wanna try one or two more. These are pretty fun. Okay, starting to get the hang of these whips again. Oh, I don't like landing flat on that one. I just want to try it without gloves. See if I feel more comfortable with that. Oh, that's my butt there. sun came out, the conditions are amazing. Whistler's running so fast and smooth right now, especially on my enduro bike. I think that's it for this week's video. But in my next video, I actually rode with some bigger names and we rode some of the sickest jump lines out here. You're gonna wanna stay tuned for that. Otherwise, if you haven't seen last week's video yet, please go and check that out. I rode Diesel Wolf in Pemberton and there's some really cool features on it. It was actually my favorite day riding all year. And yes, I know I have to take my Boost Monster out to Whistler. I'm planning on doing that pretty soon actually, but I've just been doing more riding and filming in some other places first. Stay up to date with what's going on with my Boost Monster with the whole playlist right here. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys next time.